non dualism and dualism dvaita and advaita in this episode we will look at the two perspectives on the nature of reality the two points of view on god and this existence first let us talk about advaita or non dualism advaita simply states that this entire existence has one absolute reality and everything else is based on that one absolute reality or everything else is derived from that one absolute reality and that one absolute reality is god and this god is nothing but pure awareness or consciousness this is the teaching of non dualism or advaita the true nature of god is such that it is immaterial it is not a substance as such it is it is pure consciousness and this universe is just a projection within that pure awareness or consciousness just like when we go to sleep our mind projects a dream world for us to experience this universe the way it is is projected within that pure consciousness and it is projected by that pure consciousness and that god or pure consciousness is beyond time space and causation that god existed before time before the creation of the universe and it will continue to exist after the dissolution of universe and it will also exist in and through the universe so everything is fundamentally one substance and it is technically not a substance but everything is one and that one is god this is the teaching of advaita vedanta or non dualism and it also has a very clear definition of god god according to vedanta is sat chit ananda which translates to existence consciousness and bliss and there are certain qualities for this god this god is limitless it is all pervading it is eternal and it is infinite this is the definition of god given by many religions because by definition god has to be all pervading all powerful limitless and infinite now let us talk about dvaita or dualism dualism simply states that god is separate and we the people are separate and the universe is separate we cannot combine these things to a single entity god has an independent existence and an independent role as a creator and as a guardian for this universe and this universe and the people and the animals have their own existence and we cannot equate them and we cannot say that god is equal to the universe or god is one with the universe so this is not accepted by the dualist philosophy now from here i will try to explain why the teachings of adi shankaracharya and swami vivekananda and many great teachers were based on non dualism and why non dualism makes a lot of sense logically when compared with dualism first of all we need to establish the definition of god the general definition of god accepted by many religions and many philosophies and many cultures is that god is eternal god is infinite god is all pervading and god is limitless now if god is truly limitless we cannot truly really define a boundary for him we cannot say god is separate and the universe is separate and we are separate we cannot limit god to a certain aspect or to our definition if god is truly limitless then he is in and through everything just like clay is in and through pot just like gold is in and through every ornament god is the universe and this universe is just a manifestation in god when the dualistic philosophies tell us that god has a separate existence apart from this universe and apart from the people it is imposing a boundary to something which is boundless it is limiting that which is limitless which is technically not possible so that god which exists which is limitless which is all pervading which is eternal which is infinite if that is the true nature of god then by the definition itself god cannot be limited to a certain aspect 
and we cannot say this universe is apart from God because this universe does not have an independent existence. This universe is an appearance in God. It is a creation in God and it is God itself. This is what we need to understand and this is why I think non-dualism and the Advaita Vedanta makes a lot of sense especially for our generation who tend to think logically. So for people like us who are heavily reliant on our intellects, Advaita Vedanta makes a lot of sense because Advaita Vedanta explains God and the nature of reality logically and it makes perfect sense. I hope this was valuable to you. If you are enjoying our podcast, make sure to subscribe to it. Make sure to leave a review for it. And if you are interested in the subject of God, you can check out my book Decoding God on Amazon. Thank you and I'll see you on the next one.